Good morning, everybody. It's Pastor Nathan. Welcome to online worship. We're so glad that you're here with us. We'll be in the sanctuary momentarily, but while you are waiting here, we invite you to check in. If you're on Facebook, say hello in the comments. Let us know who you are, where you're watching from, uh, and you can do the same on Zoom. Again, Merry Christmas. Happy Advent. We're glad that you are here with us. Welcome. Lutheran Church. Church. We're so glad you're with us today. Whether you're a first time visitor or a long time member, we hope this service blesses you. From the home of Tom and Lori Work, we welcome you to Elk River Lutheran Church from wherever you're joining us from. And it's great to have you join us for this Advent season as we prepare our hearts for Christmas. Welcome to Elk River Lutheran Church. I'm Ron Stricker. And I'm Gloria. We hope you enjoy the service today. Hello, I'm Phyllis Larkey. This is my one of my dogs, Dory, and we would like to welcome you to Elk River Church. We are the church that is powered by love and welcomes everyone. Good morning, welcome to church. We're the Nielsens. Jesse. Kyle. Linda. And Pete. Thanks for coming. We are Ruth and Marty Lemke with Holly and Akira. And we welcome you to Elk River Lutheran Joyous Light Advent Service. We are so happy you can join us today. Welcome to worship, everybody. We are so glad you're joining us this morning. We wanted to take a moment to say thank you and welcome, and we are glad you are here. My name is Jeremy Halkwis. I am the intern pastor here, and we wanted to give you a moment to say Merry Christmas, happiest of Advents, and to take an opportunity to say hello for yourselves. Leave a comment, drop a note, tell us how things are going. Thank you for joining us for worship this morning. Hi, we're the Mugas family, and we're getting our Christmas tree at Gorky Tree Farm. I'm Annie, this is Stanley, this is Teddy, and this is Ben. And I'm Nathan. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. Welcome to church. <laughs> Greg and Debbie Puglia. Welcome to the online service. We're glad you're here. online worship service. We're sharing a season of joyous light for Advent and Christmas this year. Good morning and welcome to Elk River Lutheran Church. We're the Glassos. I'm Matt. I'm Carter. And I'm Chase. And Merry Christmas. Hi, I'm Karen. And I'm Harry. Welcome to worship. It's Advent season at Elk River Lutheran Church. Welcome to Elk River Lutheran Church. We're the Horners. I'm Kelly. I'm Adam. I'm Audrey. I'm Catherine. Glad you're joining us today. Season's greetings. We're the Rots family. 
I'm Matt. I'm Emily. I'm Adrian. I'm Everett. And this is Isaac. Thank you for joining us today for worship. Happy Holidays! Bye! Good morning and welcome to Elk River Lutheran Church. It's great. This is the third Sunday, no, fourth, fourth Sunday of Advent. Fourth. So Merry Christmas. If we I are heading turn. right towards oh. Advent. It is the fourth Sunday of Advent. <laughs> and this morning is the kids' Christmas program, which is always a joyful They're and here. fun day. They're here. We have Almost. many kids here. No, we don't. But we have prepared an online program. Uh, Lisa has done much of the work as well as the parents who helped make it happen. Uh, you're in for a treat. It is going to be wonderful here this morning. And so um, well, let's do some introductions. I'm Pastor Nathan, pastor here at Elk River Lutheran. I'm Lisa Sampson, director of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries. Jeremy Holquist, intern pastor. And I'm Taylor Quinn, the Director of Music Ministry and Worship. You know, and today's a special day. Some of you have already seen already our music man, Taylor. This is his birthday. And so he usually sings for us and leads music for us. But so this morning, I thought I would lead a little song for you, oh, no, Taylor. Oh, Taylor so, the Latte Boy. Let's see. <laughs> T. Kringle. Oh, what's it? Let's see. Taylor might have to start us off. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, nope, so I'm this not. is all sounding really good. I know. Uh, you know, maybe we'll just do it a cappella. I actually don't know how to play this song on guitar, but it's a really good birthday <laughs> song. Oh, is that why you're doing it? So here it goes. Are you ready? Taylor, this is for you. Yes. Join in if you know it. This is your birthday song. It isn't very long. Oh, it isn't! <laughs> oh, happy birthday, Taylor! Everybody wish Taylor a happy, happy, happy birthday! birthday. birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is why I didn't tell anybody when it was my birthday. <laughs> yes, well, it is Taylor's birthday, so we're celebrating that this morning as well. Uh, happy birthday, Taylor! And again, welcome to Elk River Lutheran Church. Glad that you're all here with us, especially if you're a guest with us who's tuning in to see some grandkids or kids you know in the program. It's great to have you here. As I said, this is the fourth Sunday of Advent, and so we're moving towards that Christmas season and Christmas Day and Christmas Eve services which will be coming up. But uh, for this morning, we get the Kids Christmas Program. It'll be a really fun way to tell and celebrate the Christmas story. So uh, glad that you're here for it. If you want to follow along with the bulletin, we have an online PDF bulletin that you can find the link for in the original post. So you can go ahead and follow along there. We will have the words on the screen as well. But uh, if you want the whole bulletin with announcements and everything, you can find the PDF online, elkriverlutheran.org. And then after the service today, we hold what we call the third sacrament. It is basically a good old Lutheran coffee hour. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you're on Facebook and want to join us for a coffee hour, go over to our Zoom channel and, uh, and join us for the third sacrament, 40 minutes of fellowship. And then the, also, if you're on Facebook and Zoom, we want to hear from you right now. So in the comment section, <laughs> tell us who you are, where you're watching from, and what's your favorite color? Ooh, okay. <laughs> oh, we're getting fancy this I don't morning. Know, throw it out there. <laughs> yeah, well, we'd also love for you to celebrate uh, Holy Communion with us this morning. We'll be doing communion at worship. So we invite you to grab your wine, your wafers, your juice, your crackers, whatever you need this morning for communion. Um, have those ready because at some point in, during worship today, we will be uh, jumping in for communion. Also, um, I will add in the link in just about half a second here, um, a link if you are a first time visitor, if you're a guest, if you're just checking us out as a church, um, we would love to get to know you, to get to know uh, more about you, um, and also share the beautiful things that are going on at Elk River Lutheran. We won't be creepy, I promise that, but we do want no to creepers. connect with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we'll drop that link in our comment section, jump in and, and let us know where you're coming from. 
Yeah, you know, even if you don't consider yourself new, but you've never been like on our email list, we do send out uh, once or twice a week email updates. And uh, if you've maybe been around here for a while, but just aren't on that email list and want to be, that's a way to get on that too. So, yeah. awesome. And kids, join me for Zoom Kids after join um, the coffee hour, and we will be put in a breakout room, and we're going to play a fun game today. Um, also, tonight is the last night of our um, our Lenten uh, Vesper. Lenten? Did I just say Lenten? Yep. Oh, we're not there yet. Goodness. Yep. <laughs> if I could We've turn. all done that. <laughs> Advent Vespers yes. doing Holden Evening Prayer. Um, join us tonight at 630. Yeah. Good. Well, uh, we are celebrating the joy of Christmas here this morning, uh, all Advent long. And so uh, our opening song is a fun, fun one. And so we invite you to sing along. Before you do that, did sure. you anything, say anything about the Christmas Eve services? I did not, but we could. So, we should. Yeah, for Christmas Eve, we're doing four services that day. Um, the first one at 1030 is a family service, 1030 a.m., Yep. Yep. Oh, you're counting with me. The second was at 3.30 p.m., and that's going to be a drive-in service, and so we will be outside in our parkas. In eight-degree weather. Eight-degree weather and fake furs. Uh, 5.30 p.m. is also online. Um, that is going to end, though, with a candlelight service. Yep. And we are also doing a 10 p.m. service outside in our drive through and that's going to be a short, brief, but intimate and nice candlelight service yeah. as well yeah, so good. four services you have available for you on christmas eve yeah. awesome we're going to begin worship here this morning by singing together oh come all ye faithful so uh sing along at home we're looking forward to singing these christmas songs so good to be singing Christmas carols. Thank you, Taylor and B, for leading us. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I know a few more folks have jumped on, so let us uh, reintroduce ourselves if we could. I'm Pastor Nathan, pastor here at Elk River Lutheran. I'm Lisa Sampson, director of Children, Youth, and Family Ministries. Jeremy Holquist, intern pastor. And I'm Taylor Quinn, the director of Music Ministry and Worship. And Birthday Boy. Yeah. <laughs> and Birthday Boy. <laughs> And so, uh, again, welcome to worship here this morning. It's so great to have you here on this fourth Sunday of Advent. Merry Christmas. Uh, we are moving towards the Christmas holiday, and so we're lighting more and more candles on the Advent wreath. And so we have an Advent uh, wreath lighting uh, video uh, from... Uh, Phyllis is our candle lighter this morning and reader, and so there'll be a prayer to join in together at the end. Uh, but uh, let's let, let uh, Phyllis lead us in our candle lighting this morning. Today we celebrate the joyous light of Christ as we light four candles on the Advent wreath. Thank you. 
scripture tells us, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Psalm 119, 105. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Psalm 27, 1. Let us pray together. Stir up your power, Lord Christ, and come. Fill us and this whole world with your joyous light. For you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, thank you, Phyllis, for leading us this morning. I hope that you've had candles at home that you've been lighting, Advent candles. If they're on an Advent wreath, great. If not, that's okay, too. Uh, just a reminder, once again, if you have not gone to our website and found the daily Advent devotional that was put together by members of Elk River Lutheran, I encourage you to go and find that. It's a great daily devotional written by uh, a whole bunch of devotions written by people from the church here. And so you can light some candles each day as we move towards Christmas and read those devotions. So... Check that out. Awesome. This morning's Christmas program. We decided to keep it simple. And so we are doing a retelling of the Christmas story. Uh, the creativity, the costuming, all that stuff is on the parents. And thank you very much for taking this journey with us to create this very special, memorable Christmas program. a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was the governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descending from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. Can this donkey go any faster? I do not believe so, but this is our only ride. I hope we get there soon. for her to deliver the baby. Joseph, it's time. Let's hurry to the stable. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there's no place for them in the inn. Wow, wow. where did all these animals come from? In that region, there were shepherds living in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified, but the angel said to them, Bah! Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people to be born this day in the city of David, a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find the child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the, the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts, praising God and saying, Glory to God. Glory to God in the highest heavens, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. Glory to God. And when the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that's taken place which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were 
amazed at what the shepherds told them. But Mary treasured all these words and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen, as it had been told to them. Well, bravo, bravo. So, <laughs> my cheeks hurt. It's so I did. Good. I'll tell you this we will uh, post this as a standalone video following the service, too, so you can watch and re watch it. I've watched it, I think, five or six times myself, watching it before the service. And we all watched it at least once together here before, and it only so. gets better. So uh, we'll post it so you can watch and share it. It is so good. Thank you, parents. Oh, yes. yes. Thank, Thank you. you. Kids, you were great. Kids, you're always great. Parents. You had to do a little extra lifting this year, and so thank you it for helping awesome. make it happen. Yeah. yeah. That was awesome. Funny. Yeah, and thank you, Lisa, for editing yeah. it together. Yeah, well, I saw it about 186 yeah. times, <laughs> yeah. pieces of it. But you know what? I never got tired of it. It never gets old, yep. and it yep. just gets more and more endearing. And everybody did such a great job. Thank you for making that happen. Yeah. So. Yep. It is such a fun celebration of the Christmas story, and you all just did so great. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you, kids and parents, for making that happen. Uh, we have one little song, too, as well. You want to say a word about the song? Yeah, I invited um, some kids, whoever wanted to, to, to give a song, and then I tried my hand at song video editing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to well. stick with my day job, but it was so much fun to put together, and so they're going to go tell it on the mountain. All right, kids, take it away. <laughs> guys did phenomenal job thank fantastic. you fantastic so yeah yes. absolutely and man. taylor was writing down the singers ideas for them and yeah. that one do oh you all did so good again <laughs> thank you kids thank you parents and uh, thank you lisa for helping make mm -hmm. it happen 
Uh, it is just so fun uh, to have uh, kids tell the story. You know, um, I think kids' Christmas programs are a pretty, like, common thing. Like, I grew up doing them. We talked about this a little bit on Thursday night. But we'd love to invite you to ask you all uh, to share some of your memories or stories of Christmas programs past. Uh, church ones, absolutely. Maybe school ones, too, if mm -hmm. that's. But if you have a favorite memory, or maybe sometimes there are some not-so-good memories that come along with being a part of Christmas programs, uh, feel free to share those, too. But in the comments, share some of those. We'd love to hear what some of your experiences are, and we'll share a little bit about ours as well. Because yeah. uh, it's just so fun celebrating the Christmas story with this tradition of Christmas programs, which are so common here. So. And they were always so bittersweet <laughs> as a participant. Because not, you were always cranky, you know, sure, whenever I, whenever you're told to put on the, the towel and the tie around your head, yeah. you were always cranky about it. But then it always seemed to kind of end up as a great memory. Yeah, sure. You know, we, uh, uh, if you didn't hear on Thursday night, I, we, we, like you said, we did some, we talked about our family uh, Christmas programs and um, our family always did a live nativity read through where grandpa would sit in his chair and read the story. Um, and then all of us grandkids would go across the dining room to my grandparents' bedroom with my aunts and all the aunts would dress us up and put <laughs> towels over our heads, wrapped them with ties. We had, um, you know, the garland that is glittery. Yes. They made halos and yeah. those were probably 25 years old yes. by the time we ended yeah. the nativity scene thing. And so we did that every year and uh, we always hated it. But uh, but now I think all of us grandkids look back on it and find it just a fond memory, yeah. you know. You know, I think one of my favorite parts of this Christmas program here this morning was the costumes and the creativity. Mm -hmm. and Because mm -hmm. one of the kind of things that's funny, I think, about churches, I think this is my certainly experience growing up and being a pastor at churches, is it's you roll out the same costumes every year, yes. right? It's like, there's your halo that's, yes. you know, that's like, uh, we've been worn for the last, you know, at least 25 years. You know, I think the costumes we had at my church growing up, you know, they were, they were vintage, you know, it was yeah. the, those shepherds wore the same robes and the kings wore robes, the same yes. crowns. And, yeah. uh, and, and that's kind of a part of the charm and the fun is to roll it out again every year. But I love this year, the creativity of how different, you know, the characters looked and, um, and it was set at home. It was just, yeah. oh, it was just so mm -hmm. cool. So cool. Yeah, it was fun. You guys have other program experiences? I remember um, doing a Christmas program at First Lutheran Church up in Duluth and the pastor's wife led four of us girls in silent night at okay. the end of the program and I had to play the auto harp now I'm not that musical but I could play the auto harp see I still have that whole hand thing down sure. well the problem is we all started off singing the alto part and never changed we sang alto <laughs> during the entire thing <laughs> It was horrible. Thank goodness there was no video back then. And I remember the pastor's wife was leading us, and she called everybody at home that day to make sure we were all okay from the traumatic experience. And I didn't care. I played the auto harp. I just, yeah, was, I just kept right on going. But yeah, that was that was one of my uh, fails for Christmas Oh, that's programs. funny. Isn't that funny? That's a different yeah. story than Thursday night. Oh my yeah, gosh, Thursday you night have so a, many yeah, stories. I do. Yeah. <laughs> So I was laughing because, uh, so after Thursday night, we shared our thing, and one of my former youth kids uh, from my very first youth ministry position sent me a message, and she said, remember when Jesus got up and left? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Two-year-old Jesus in the main beer, okay. and just decided, I'm done, and walked out of church. And <laughs> that was He's got ministry to do. Yeah, He's, out He's, He's gone. So Heading to, head to Egypt. That's yeah. Yeah. And my I remember young, as a yeah. leader being so, so absolutely traumatized that Jesus oh, left. And sure yeah, enough, I hate when Jesus great illustration. Leaves. Yeah. Luke, when he was a baby, was Jesus, and he was six months old, which I thought was old, too, is much worse. But I remember having to keep putting, pushing him down because he kept trying to sit up in the manger because all these kids were standing, and I kept slamming him down. Yeah. He learned, right? Uh, you know, it was fun. Yeah. Well, it's fun to see some of your Christmas program yeah. stories here in the comments. Thank you for sharing them. You know, it's just, uh, it is such a... I mean, it's it's a part of the season, right? It's yeah. a part of the tr our it traditions is. is to tell these stories, and I think it's so interesting. You know, it is it's the kids that tell the story, right? I mean, it's the kids at the family gathering mm -hmm. that put on the program at schools, and that uh, of course it's kids, but at you know churches it's kids too, and you know it's kind of me wonder what do you think it is about the 
kids telling the program that makes it so special. You know, to this year, today was kind of extra special because there's all these kids at home telling the story. Mm -hmm. But I don't know, what do you think it is that stands out that makes it special to have kids tell the Christmas story? I always think it's the the perfectly imperfect way that the story is told. Yeah. Like it's, there's never been a Christmas pageant, I think, that goes off perfectly well, other than this year, of course. <laughs> right. But other than this like, year, yes. <laughs> you know, there's, like, there's a lot of chaos and everything that surrounds it, and yet it comes together, and it's beautiful, and it's mm-hmm. wonderful. And mm-hmm. I think just the fact that it tells a story like it is, it's yeah. not sugar-coated. I'm wondering if it's because it's about a baby that people started teaching sure. children, but this is the, really the story that we teach our children first. At least I did in my home, but in, in all the congregations that I've been part of, yeah. we yeah, and then there's such an innocence and a sense of wonder, and uh, it really doesn't matter what part you get cast at because yeah. the shepherds are important. The wise men get to carry yeah. the gifts. The shepherds, of course, have the shepherd's crooks. Those are way cool. Yes, yeah. you know? super cool. I know. The swords. And the then swords. as an angel, well, you get to wear the 25-year-old glitter halo. Yes. Correct. I mean, exactly. that's or the not old, a bit part. Or the old white choir robes that they don't wear anymore, yes. you know? Well, I think even just that everyone gets a costume, right? Yes. Like everyone has Everybody a role. has a costume. And that's why I do think that the Christmas story is especially you know, made for that. It's so perfect for it, partially because, yes, every kid can have a role and, and have a part, but also, you know, it's a story that's not neat and clean. It has all kinds of interesting characters. Yeah, that's you know, true. Many of whom, you know, have no place being in a primary Bible story, a bunch of random shepherds out in the fields, you know, wise men from, you know, hundreds and thousands of miles away. Like, what are they doing in this story? And uh, angels showing up to talk to all these people. You know, it, it's, it's, a, it's a profound biblical story mm-hmm. that meets people in these really ordinary places. And I especially love that about the telling from home, the right. version we got today. Mm-hmm. It's because, you know, where are Mary and Joseph when they, when God or the angels appear to them? They're at home. You know, mm-hmm. where are the shepherds? They're out in their fields where they work, where they yeah. live, you yeah. know, and uh, all of the, it just fits. And, and I think that's part of the profound and simple beauty of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One of Daryl and I's, uh, my favorite movies is Rise of the Guardians. And Santa is the one, one of the characters, and uh, Santa is the one who brings wonder to kids throughout the season. Yeah. And, and when you asked about, you know, what is, what is, why is it so fun to see kids do this? And I thought, you had mentioned it earlier too, the wonder of it all. You know, just the curiosity and, and the creativity that comes out of it. And it, I think we're reminded of it yeah. to stay in wonder. Yeah. And I think that's as adults, like that's the, the thing that holds me the most is the curiosity and wonder about what really going on in the Christmas story that I connect to. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it's God showing up in the midst of the messiness, whether that's the messiness of a Christmas program, the messiness of the story as it's actually told with a, a stable and shepherds and, and all of that. Um, and I think, you know, whether we really pause to think about it or not, I mean, I think we get that, okay, this is God showing up in the messiness of our lives too. And yeah. uh, and that's a, a beautiful thing to cling to, especially when it feels really messy, which I think mm-hmm. this year is a year that feels pretty messy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, another big and I think excellent part of the Christmas programs is always the music. And so I'd love to touch on the music too and ask you all, uh, to share what is your favorite song to sing at church at Christmas time? When you're at church on Christmas, what is the song that you just say, oh, w- w- where in the order is this one, right? Like, I want to hear this one. Maybe it's a Christmas program song and you always hear kids sing it. Maybe it's uh, just your favorite uh, Christmas Eve service song or something. But I'd be curious for you all. There's just so much good music and it's oh, such man. a key part of Christmas programs and, and our Christmas experience. You know, they tell the story in their own way. I think my favorite to sing is Oh Holy Night. Okay. I, I, that is my favorite. But growing up in um, Duluth and First Lutheran, our tradition during the candle lighting was to sing Silent Night yeah. in English, German, Norwegian, Finnish, and then in English again. What? Okay. Yeah. And so I can sing that. I can sing the first verse in Finnish. And woo, 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 it's lots yeah. of O's and U's. And, and everybody yes. got really quiet during that verse, but the Norwegians in that congregation belted that out more oh, than wow. even the German. So that Iowa always just really connected with that. Wow. And we sang, Yer so glad er you look yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. every year too. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Mm-hmm. I've always liked the song, uh, Good King Wenceslas. 
Um, it's so it's long. Right it's yes. so long, but it's about it's 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 about reaching beyond. Mm -hmm. You know, your present, your family is getting yeah. presence. You know, it's about the outreach of of the love of God to someone else, and I, I've always liked that one. You know, yeah. it's not it's not sung in church often. Yeah. Uh, and and I, I can understand why. Cause you don't want to <laughs> sit there for 10, 15 verses. But uh, That's a lot. I've always liked that song, the mm -hmm. concept of it. Right. I think my favorite to hear was uh, growing up, I grew up in this old cathedral style worship space. And so Joy to the World, oh. um, when the, the organist like, let the pipes loose. Yes. <laughs> Pull out I mean, all the it, stops. It, yeah. It's just the goosebumps of sitting there and just sort of yeah. taking it all in. Huh. And being good Lutherans, we always sang it so excruciatingly loud that sure. it was just, it echoed. Oh, I mean, it just, yeah. it reverberated <laughs> off the walls. Yeah. Neat. So it was a good thing. Yeah. I think for me, Christmas program wise, I always remember singing Go Tell It on the Mountain. And, it, and my love for it has not diminished. You know, I just, it, it, I just still love it. It's so fun to hear and see the kids singing it this morning. And, uh, and for myself, I just love singing it every year. It's one of those songs that's programmed to the lights outside, the snowflakes that dance oh, along right. with the music. Go Tell It is one of those uh, songs. And I, I just, yeah, I really love it. And I can still picture the tag board where I learned the lyrics, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, you know, the Sunday school teacher holding up the tag board that had the lyrics. And that's how I know the words to it still today. And so it's just so good. Awesome. How about 12 Days of Christmas? Did you, I mean, I could never keep them all straight, I don't think. I know, but that was always so fun, singing in a group. with. I just remember uh, at our school, we sang it, and we just loved singing the ba dum bum 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 you know, transitioning in the five rings yep. or whatever. Yeah. yeah, 12 Days of Christmas. I like seeing what people do with that creatively on YouTube. Uh-huh, there you go. Sure. That's fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's so fun. I don't know if you guys have seen the comments here of all the different songs. Yeah. Uh, lots of uh, lots of just beloved ones. And I think that's part of the beauty. There's just so many. And, mm -hmm. you know, there, there are very few Christmas songs when they come up. I'm like, oh, I wish we weren't singing this one. Yeah, I mean, it's just. Right. And, you know, and to that point, the part of this is I, I think transition to this next song because the, the next song is Good Christian Friends Rejoice. And I saw it in the lap and I'm like, oh, it's not one of my top songs. And I started thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, no, actually, I, I know really that. like yeah. this one quite a bit. <laughs> a nice you know, to it. Yeah. Uh, you know and, and I think that's so common with these Christmas songs. It's just you just can't sing them enough. So that's why I'm so glad that we're doing all these Christmas songs this season and uh, we're getting ready for Christmas Eve where we hope that you will join us and again those services are just full of these songs these carols that we just love and so it's so great so Taylor you want to take it away and uh, lead us in good Christian friends you bet Song. It is. It is. They, uh, you know, again, it's hard. You're hard pressed to find a not good Christmas. Yeah. Song, you know, it's, it's just so great. And so, uh, yeah, thank you, Taylor, for leading us this whole season and uh, heading into Christmas Eve. Uh, well, here in the service, we're going to continue with the confession and forgiveness and Holy Communion. And so if you have your communion elements close by, that's great. If you don't, you still have a little bit of time to go get some bread or wine or juice and crackers, whatever you can uh, find that can be your communion elements for this morning. Uh, you can go ahead and find those things. 
And uh, we will, uh, for this part of the service, it'll begin with confession and forgiveness. We invite you to participate in that. The words will be on the screen. And then we'll move into Holy Communion, where we'll uh, invite you to sing a holy holy and hear those words of institution. And then receive communion and be invited into a time of prayer. And so uh, this is more of a contemplative part of the service, a time for reflection and then the celebration of communion and prayer. And so uh, we'll continue with that now. Blessed be God, Father, and Son, and the Holy Spirit, whose forgiveness is sure and whose steadfast love endures forever. Amen. Together, let us honestly and humbly confess that we have not lived as God desires. Loving and forgiving God, we confess that we are captive to sin and cannot free ourselves. We have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us, forgive us, renew us, and lead us, so that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your holy name. Amen. People of God, hear this good news. By God's endless grace, your sins are forgiven, and you are free. Free from all that holds you back, and free to live in the peaceable realm of God. May you be strengthened in God's love, comforted by Christ's peace, and accompanied with the power of the Holy Spirit. Now with the promise of God's forgiveness fresh on our hearts, we continue with Holy Communion. Join me in the great thanksgiving. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, that we should at all times and in all places give thanks and praise to you, almighty and merciful God, through our Savior Jesus Christ, you comforted your people with the promise of the Redeemer, through whom you will make all things new in the day when he comes to judge the world in righteousness. And so with all the choirs of angels, with the church on earth and the hosts of heaven, we praise your name and join their unending hymn. In the night in which he was betrayed, our Lord Jesus took bread, gave thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Again, after the supper, he took the cup, gave thanks, and gave it for all to drink, saying, Take and drink. This cup is a new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. These are the gifts of God for the people of God, the body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. As you prepare to receive these gifts of Holy Communion, we then invite you to enter into a time of prayer where you'll hear some music and guided prayer. And so we'll follow the blessings of Holy Communion with a time of stillness and prayer. This is the body of Christ given for you and the blood of Christ shed for you. Thanks be to God.
pause, take a deep breath. Give yourself permission to pause the noises of the day and to listen. What word or phrase did I hear today that challenged me, comforted me, or needs more reflection? have you been called to pray for today? We invite you to write those prayers in the comments. God of all mercy and consolation, we entrust these prayers to you, knowing that you hear the prayers of your people. Remember us, gracious God, and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Well, as our prayers rise up, may the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, strengthen you and keep you in God's grace. Amen. Well, we'll continue now uh, with our time of offering, our online offering time, where uh, we offer you the, the reminder that you can give to support the ministries of Elk River Lutheran Church in these three ways, either online at elkriverlutheran.org. There's a, a link in the Facebook post comments there as well, uh, or on uh, the mail, the mail, 729 Main Street uh, here in Elk River, uh, or we have a locked mailbox that's right outside the front doors of the church that offering can be dropped in as well. And so uh, thank Thank you to all of you who have supported Elk River Lutheran during this time in so many ways, including financially, which is an important part of uh, us keeping things going, as well as uh, in all the other ways, the videos and the, the prayers, all of it, we just so appreciate. And uh, we actually have a little bit of an update on the We Care Christmas Challenge. What? We do. Ooh. So we had a $3,000 matching gift. So gifts up to $3,000 would be matched. And uh, drum roll, please. So we we're trying to get to $3,000 and we received six thousand wow. dollars so uh, i don't have the exact number Yay. with me right now but uh it was six thousand oh, awesome. plus that three thousand dollar match so that means before this That's christmas amazing. nine thousand dollars is going to care so wow. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Care is our local yes. food shelf. They do food, uh, have the food pantry, but they uh, service people in a lot of other ways and help with everything from rent assistance to uh, other immediate needs that people are facing. And so this is a great gift that we're able to give Fantastic. to them. Wow. And so thank you. Uh, thank you for contributing wow. to that and to the overall ministries of the church. It is a, a great thing to celebrate. Uh, so much generosity and we just uh, can't thank you enough for that. Wow, we wow. Isn't that wow. something? Mm -hmm. You know, Speed early on when we started that We Care Challenge, people were like, how long do you think you'll keep it going? And I was like, well, yeah, I mean, at least till Christmas, maybe right at the end of the year, <laughs> however long we have to. <laughs> 
it yeah. did not take long to no. reach 3,000. And Two then the three next 3,000 came in over the next week. So uh, absolutely amazing. You all rock. Uh, you're great. And so we can't thank you enough for that. Uh, I'd like to continue, if we could, by praying together this offering prayer, which just is a celebration of uh, all of God's blessings to us and uh, how we're able to share them. Uh, so let's pray together. Generous God, you have created all that is. You provide for us in every season. Bless all that we offer, that through these gifts the world will receive your blessing. In the name of Jesus, Emmanuel, we pray. Amen. I think that is just it. God has blessed us with so many gifts, and we pray that they would bless the world. And so thank you for sharing those gifts and blessing this world that we are a part of. Uh, well, as we go uh, receive this blessing before our final song and some announcements, uh, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you with grace and mercy. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, uh, before our last song, let's drop a couple of announcements in here. Uh, one is we were uh, tipped off to another birthday this coming week, a big one, uh, that Bob Nelson is turning 90 uh, this week. Yay. And so uh, someone tipped us off to that, so we were in the loop. And so uh, let's sing happy birthday to Bob as well. Maybe you can slip Taylor's name in there too. I know Taylor won't sing happy birthday to himself, but... We can drop it in, but so let's sing happy birthday too. It's Jesus' birthday, Taylor's birthday, Bob's birthday. It's a great birthday week. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bob and Taylor, Taylor and, and Jesus. Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Big birthdays this week. So, Bob, I know you're out there. Happy birthday to you. Uh, and, uh, of course, to you too, Taylor. And uh, speaking of Jesus' birthday, we'll be gathering here online and out in the parking lot uh, again later this week. And so would love to have you be a part of these services. Uh, here's the thing. All four services will be streamed online, but those two online-only services, the 10.30 a.m. family service and the 5.30 p.m. service, those will be online only, and so those will be the service that have services that have the words on the screen and are a little easier to follow, a little easier to interact with. The others will be just basically a stationary camera set up, and you'll probably want to have the PDF bulletin uh, for that uh, 3.30 drive-in service if you're wanting to sing along and stuff. Um, and uh, I had avoided looking at the weather until uh, yesterday, yesterday when I was like, okay, it's less than a week. I think I'm going to look. Next week is 20s, 30s, 20s, 30s, and then Christmas Eve, 8. <laughs> of course. 8. <laughs> so uh, y'all in your cars, you'll just leave them running, you'll be good. You all here wear the long underwear and layers because it's going to be a wee bit chilly outside. Uh, but we're happy to be worshiping together in whatever ways we can this Christmas Eve. And so uh, we'll, we'll be outside. Uh, a couple details on those. Outside services, the drive-in service is at 3.30. Out in the parking lot will be set up uh, kind of in front of the main front door and the Powered by Love mural. So uh, if you're the Powered by Love mural, you know where that's at on that side of the building. Uh, you can park anywhere in that upper lot or down below down by the river uh, is a great place to park so you can see. Um, the walk-up service at 10 p.m., that'll be a pretty brief service where uh, there won't be a bulletin or anything. Uh, we'll have some candles that you can pick up. It'll be, we'll light them for the whole time, and uh, we'll uh, hear a little bit of scripture uh, and, and sing together just a couple of songs, kind of a cappella. And so it'll be brief. We'll keep our distance. Uh, of course, you'll have to wear a mask. I don't think it'll be hard to convince everyone to do that because it's going to be freezing. Um, any layers that you can wear will be good. But these other two online services, I am excited for them as well. Uh, 10.30 a.m. is a specifically family-friendly service, so we'll do some extra things to keep kids engaged and, uh, and excited in this service. And uh, at 5.30, we'll be lighting candles. It'll be candle lit. So we encourage you to have candles ready at home uh, to light so you can create that kind of ambiance at home as well at the end of that service as we sing uh, some of those slower carols, including Silent Night. So any other thoughts or words about this Christmas? 
I said it all. I said, said it all, all Nathan. Uh, but so I uh, hope that you can join us for any or all of those services uh, online or in person for those ones that will be uh, outside. Uh, it's going to be a different Christmas, but a great one. Uh, I did remember one thing. Christmas morning. Christmas, I was going to say Christmas morning. Christmas morning, we're going to have oh, a, that's happening. a yeah, pre-recorded. Yeah. Christmas yeah. morning's coming, too. And we're going to have a pre-recorded video that will be uh, live on Facebook. It'll premiere Christmas morning. And so uh, you can check that out as well. It'll be a fun uh, <laughs> fun way to celebrate Christmas morning and uh, have a little bit of music and a little bit of fun that Christmas morning as well. So Great. now that's it. And so uh, our sending song is, what is it, Taylor? Blessed be the God of Israel. All right. And so here it is. Take it away. Wonderful. Well, join us immediately <laughs> following worship. We don't know what we're doing. It's great. Uh, join us immediately following worship on our Zoom channel for our Zoom Merry Christmas. Kind of get to see what Christmas will be like for you. Third Sacrament over on Zoom. And Zoom yeah. kids, go to the same place and we'll go to our breakout room. Yeah, and so if you don't know how to get to Zoom or you haven't done it before, if you go to our website, elkriverlutheran.org, you can click the link there, uh, the Zoom worship link connect. It's the same as uh, people have been on Zoom for the worship service this morning. So if you're on Facebook, you can jump over to our website, find that link. And if it's your first time on Zoom, you'll have to download an extension or an app if you're on a phone or device. Uh, just, just do that. It'll work quick. It's quick and easy. And then you'll be uh, let into the, the coffee hour. So... That is it. We look forward to seeing you guys Thursday and Friday, Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. Uh, until then, Merry Christmas, and you all take care. We'll see you again soon. Merry Christmas. Thank you for joining us. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. We're so glad that you could join us today. We hope that this finds you well and that you enjoyed the service and have a great week. Take care. God bless. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you soon. Thanks, Thanks for coming. coming. Merry Christmas. We hope you enjoyed the service. Happy holidays. Come back again. Thanks for coming. <laughs> From all of us, thank you for joining us today. Come back often. Thanks for coming to worship today. Merry Christmas. Thank you for coming today. Peace and joy to you. La, 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 la. Thank you for joining us today. We wish you a happy holiday season. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Thanks for coming to worship from our house to yours. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.
Do 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 do